The heavy rain came down in our area earlier, helping clear out smoke from the wildfires in Canada, but areas of central Illinois are cleaning up tonight after storms race through, bringing strong winds and extensive damage. WGN Shannon Halligan, following the developments from downstate, she's here with more. Hi, yeah. Shannon. At this hour, nearly 160,000 customers across Illinois are without power tonight. I-55 near Bloomington remains shut down because of downed power lines after this powerful storm. Storm clouds rolled into central Illinois. Not long after came heavy rain and strong winds. Part of the roof at Willard Airport in Savoy was ripped off. Next thing I knew, the, there was a uh, see that picnic bench over there. That was way over in the, like, on the other side of the parking lot. And I saw that lift and just go flying. And then that's, I mean, at that point, they started, they were pulling some people in and I saw someone needed help. So I, I directed one of the airport people to, to help out with the person that was struggling. Because of the damage, all commercial flights out of the airport Thursday were canceled. Powerful winds knocked semis off the road, shutting down major expressways and causing minor injuries, according to Illinois State Police. 30 miles west of the airport, the same storm knocked out power for thousands and caused extensive damage to homes in Farmer City. Don Becker worked to cut down massive trees that came down onto his house. And all of a sudden, when the wind came in and it just started, it, everything just kind of went crazy at that point. The tree, that one fell. I came upstairs when the power went out and I heard something hit the edge of the house. And then I went out and looked and you got tree damage all around. Residents are left trying to clean up and salvage what they can. I lost my garage. Uh, my car was damaged. Um, the garage is completely gone. It has things stored in it from a lot of pictures and things I stored in there when I moved here a year ago. So the patio is gone. Everything's gone, but we'll replace. Because of the power outages and damage, the mayor of Springfield issued a curfew for residents that goes until five o'clock tomorrow morning. All right, Shannon, thank you.